Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Glitchers HD and in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the new DLC Ascendance that's coming out. The trailer was just released last night, uh, Call of Duty was tweeting a lot of stuff and I really just wanted to tell you guys my plan, what I plan to bring to the table and I really want to make some quality content. I want to upload some more stuff that isn't just glitches. I want to expand my horizons a little bit. So for the first time in a while, uh, I am actually excited for a Call of Duty DLC. Ever since about, I'd say around Black Ops 2. The Black Ops 2 for me is when it started going downhill. It started going the, in the direction I didn't like. The games before, they were more simple and I don't, I don't know. As the quality progressed in, and the technology, I felt like they started going in a different direction. I, I know like they can't be making the same game over and over because it would get boring, but if they change it too much and they make it too complicated, it's not even going to be caught anymore, which that's what I felt like they were doing and I, it wasn't enjoyable for me because I grew up on like Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4 and that I love that stuff. So I'm getting a little off topic here, but last night Call of Duty was tweeting a lot about the Burger Town map and they were leaking stuff left and right. They were really just trying to let us know what's on the map. And honestly, I think that this is really cool, the fact that they're being interactive with us and they're letting us know what is going to be going on for the people that want to want to uh, dig into that and follow them. I, I love the as aspect of that. I love the fact that they're bringing back Burger Town from Modern Warfare 2, bringing people really what they want uh, from a good game. I really love Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I hate ghosts. I just wanted to say that. Anyways, so for the first time in what feels like forever, I can honestly say that I am excited for a DLC. I'm excited for this next DLC Ascendance. I'm, I'm going to be uh, posting a lot of glitches for the new maps, but my main focus is going to be zombies. I am planning right now, I'm in the midst of making a four-man team that are really going to be doing the Easter eggs. And I'm thinking about doing some live live gameplay, some live commentaries, stuff like that with, with all of them. And hopefully that goes out well. And I'll keep you posted on, on who who's going to be doing that or who's going to be in that. And I really hope you guys are as excited as I am and you're, and you're really looking forward to that. Let me know if you guys are going to be getting the DLC. Maybe uh, I'll be able to play with a few of you guys as well. But right now... I really want to get into the Burger Town and what they tweeted, my interpretations of it, my opinions, what I'm looking forward to, you get the idea. So uh, last night they were tweeting left and right, they were uh, really trying to tease us and, and throw some stuff out there. So basically what they were doing was tweeting from the, from the point of view of a teenager uh, working his minimum wage shift at a Burger Town and it, the context of it, it's almost like a story. Uh, but I think it, it, it's kind of like the guy's tweeting himself what's going on. So basically it's a guy working at Burger Town. Uh, nobody comes in for work and he's there by himself and he sees some, some guy get attacked out front. Uh, explosions going everywhere. Pew, 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 pew. Everything's going crazy. So from here he calls 911. No one's answering. So he goes into hiding in the sewers. And as you guys can see here, there's two new zombies that it posted as well. So that's cool, they're switching up the zombies, one's got spikes through it, and one is dripping in, I don't know, goo. Slimy goo that will probably hurt you more and poison you, I don't know. But I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that green stuff in a little bit. Uh, just, just wait for it. But yeah, he goes down into the sewers to find a hiding place. Now as you guys can see here, this looks really cool, and that means we're going to be able to have some gameplay down in the sewers. Now I like the aspect of that, the creepy... Uh, underground in the sewers and it also goes on with the story that he finds Atlas so for those of you who don't know obviously Atlas is the company all the guns and everything and he finds a gun underneath and that I think this is the 3d printer thing uh, I don't even have the the first DLC for zombies but there's a 3d printer I believe that prints guns or maybe this is just a gun underneath anyways so he finds this and then uh, yeah, that's basically all it has for this the storyline of him tweeting out But one thing I found cool is The drive-through mascot that they're adding in. Uh, I'm gonna go quiet for a second. And you guys can listen to him We can't wait to put our meat inside you 
So I liked the, the interactive part about this. On every zombies they usually added in like a little a little thing you could do like monkeys or George Romero, the transit bus guy. So this is the thing for that and he's the drive through guy which I find hilarious and as you heard by him he's got a really uppity voice. You can see his picture right here and that's really all that I have for him right now but there's also this menu that you see here which is just regular uh, Burger Town items so just regular food but what they tweeted is Burger Town's about to get some fresh meat added to the menu stay tuned so I don't know if anyone has has posted anything about this menu part but I predict that instead of buying food in, in this menu I think it's gonna change and you're gonna be able to buy some guns some sort of ammo or something off this menu and talk to this this drive-thru guy so like I don't know if anybody else has predicted this or said this but that's what I think I think uh, that would be pretty cool as, as, as you can be interactive with the, the drive-thru guy let's call him the drive-thru guy that's what I've been calling him I guess but yeah anyways we're moving on now uh, here is a picture of the new boss zombie so to say I don't know what you want to call it but it is very similar to the panzer zombie which Iowa gaming pointed out you guys if you guys don't know him his name is Ryan you can go check his channel out it'll be down in the description but he what basically what he was saying is that he didn't like the fact that they basically copy and pasted it and they're reusing and recycling from the old games um, I agree with this but for different reasons I don't like the boss zombies whatsoever I feel it is is too much complications I guess it does make the game fun but I feel like they could do it in different ways I feel like it is more of a, a complication and annoyance than it is fun I don't know maybe that's just me maybe you guys agree with me but yeah they they have a lot of money putting into this. They could be throwing out some different stuff, switching it up. I like the Burger Town idea. I like the interactive idea. But I'm not going to say too much. I'm not going to judge it by just a trailer and some pictures. I'm going to try this out for myself and let you guys know my opinion afterwards. So I don't have much time for this video left. I kind of just want to wrap this up right here. So here is what is believed to be the warehouse is what I think. Uh, a previous tweet said I think I hear some survivors over the warehouse and then it goes over to this and finally I want to touch up on the green stuff on that zombie it shows some green gas being leaked out of the ground and I believe this is what is going on with the zombie I believe maybe the gas is a, is a trap that you guys can unlock or maybe it's an obstacle of some sort I don't know it's not safe to say until it comes out but that's just my ideas now that's really all I wanted to talk about with you guys. I know this video went on a little long. If you're still watching, thank you. Please make sure that you guys don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. I hope you guys are looking forward to some zombies content from me, whether it be Easter eggs, uh, glitches, that sort of stuff. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.